Hi everybody, I'm Matt Thomas and welcome to This Week in Gay, a brand new video blog all about this week's gay interest stories that happened across my desk and grabbed my attention. So let's start off with the frustrating tale of uh, Canadian hockey player Sean Avery. Now Sean Avery is a Canadian who plays for the New York Rangers and who has a bit of reputation as uh, being a bit of a metrosexual. Now his love of fashion aside, uh, he decided recently to record a public service announcement in support of marriage equality in New York State. I'm Sean Avery and I'm a New Yorker for marriage equality. I treat everyone the way I expect to be treated and that applies to marriage. Now as that video made its rounds on the internet, it came to the attention of Todd Reynolds, the VP for Uptown Sports Management, a Canadian company that manages a bunch of NHL players. Now he was none too pleased with Avery's uh, pro-gay message and decided to take to Twitter to express his uh, concerns about it. On Uptown Hockey's Twitter account, Tom Reynolds wrote, Very sad to read Sean Avery's misguided support of same-gender marriage, in quotation marks. Legal or not, it will always be wrong. Now, Todd's anti-gay tweet received a lot of attention really quickly, so he went back to Twitter to kind of clarify his message. There he wrote, To clarify, this is not hatred or bigotry towards gays. It is not intolerance in any way, shape, or form. I believe we are all equal. But I believe in the sanctity of marriage between one man and one woman. This is my personal view, viewpoint. I do not hate anyone. Todd's Twitter clarification didn't really smooth things over. Um, and as the outrage brewed on, uh, Todd's dad, Don, who is the president of Uptown Sports Management, spoke with the National Post newspaper. And he didn't help the situation. Don said, it's not politically correct to, I guess, give your opinion about a thing like that. It's politically correct on the other side for people to say, sure, I support gay marriage, but the majority of, I think, of Canadians would say that they don't agree with gay marriage, that a man and woman were created to be married, not a man or a man, or a man and a horse, you know. Now, many groups are demanding that Uptown Sports Management apologize for these comments, but what do you guys think? Are they entitled to have their own opinion in the situation? Or is it time to start seeing comments like this the same way we see sexism or racism? What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. In random tech news, a researcher in South Korea has actually developed a piece of technology that you can use to charge your cell phone with sound waves. This device can convert anything over 100 decibels, which is like loud traffic, into an electrical signal. Now, it's still in its infancy, so it's probably not ready for the market anytime soon, but the idea of the fact that you can hand over your cell phone to any loudmouth drag queen in the vicinity to charge your phone when it runs out sounds super convenient. Speaking of convenience, everybody in the office had the pleasure of test driving one of the more unique sex toys I've seen in a while, the Tanga Egg. The Tanga Egg is very easy to use. Peel the wrapping, open the shell, and inside is the egg. Insert your penis and move it up and down. The ultra-stretchable material can handle every size. As far as a self-contained masturbatory device goes, it gets an A plus for its cost, which is around $10. Uh, and it's super easy to clean and it's super easy to store because of its size. Um, let us know what your guys' favorite uh, sex toy is or if you've uh, used a Tanga Egg and have a review, or just let us know in the comments below. In pop culture news, Lady Gaga released her third single off of Born This Way uh, called The Edge of Glory. Some people love it, some people hate it. I tend to think it sounds like a bad Celine Dion, Kelly Clarkson mashup, but I'm just one man. But it's, it will surely do better than Beyonce's new single. Runs the World Girls debuted on the Billboard charts at number 33, dropped to number 45 in its second week, and then down to number 65 in its third week. And uh, Beyonce planned a super expensive, flashy video uh, to be released this week, but it has been delayed. And we can only hope it is one of the best videos of all time because she really needs it. As her fellow uh, Destiny's Child bandmate Kelly Rowland is currently beating her in the charts with her newest single. Our Dude of the Week award goes to indie director Steven Soderbergh, who has not only one, but two super gay projects on the go right now. One of them is a biopic about Liberace, the famed piano superstar who enjoyed glittery outfits. Now, in that movie, uh, Michael Douglas is playing Liberace, and Matt Damon is playing his boyfriend slash chauffeur, Scott Thorson. Soderbergh's other gay interest flick is Magic Mike, uh, which is a film based on the real-life experiences of hunky actor Channing Tatum when he worked as a male stripper. Now you can see pictures of Channing Tatum's past as a male stripper in the links below, and my hat goes off to Mr. Soderbergh for creating two projects that are guaranteed to make Brokeback Mountain probably look like Weekend at Bernie's. That's it for this edition of This Week in Gay. Let us know what you think in the links and comments below. Feel free to like it, feel free to talk about it, feel free to let us know uh, about what you think of any of the stories we covered this week or stories that we missed. Uh, and I'll see you next week.